September 5, 2018, out of your classes to William Leviton, the head coach David Clark. It's with great pleasure that we would like to offer you a complete in-state athletic related scholarship. I get a haircut, I get a haircut, not thinking, not thinking that I'm like getting a scholarship or anything, or I, I, I'm gonna be on, on on photo looking good or something like that, I was just getting a haircut. I remember in the team meeting, like, I'm sitting in there, I'm like, okay, so this is the first day, it's the team meeting, so let me just relax, let me just sit down and just see what Coach Cox has to say for us, and then I'm gonna be on my way. And then, like, I noticed, like, People were coming in the room, but like, I didn't understand why. Like, and then Thor comes, he comes talk to all of us, and he says, Thank you for everything. He says, We're ready for the season. Thank you for coming back. Can't wait. And Coach Cox starts talking, and then he starts talking about an individual. So, like, when he switched it, he started God fearing man, and he said, Like, somebody who works hard who doesn't really get recognized, I'm like, Oh, snap. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but like, I'm still anxious and I'm like nervous. I'm like, what's going on? And then, like, when he just says, like, Will Levinson, September 5th, 2018, you have been rewarded a full in state scholarship. It was just like, just joy and just tears. Like, it was just like, it really happened. Like, this was just a dream, a, a vision. This was a, something. You know, I was supposed to be here. I'm just very thankful every day. You know, I love God, and he's, I'm a big, I'm a big believer in Christ. Like, I probably wouldn't change a damn thing, cause this right here, it's just something great. So, yeah. Where I grew up, it was like it was a tough area, tough neighborhood, but like it was, there was a park, like there was a, like there was a court right there. That was the place to be. Like you, every time I went home, I went to the park. I will come back at like 11 at night. My mom used to be so mad. <laughs> oh my god, that was uh, it's like one of the best. Cause I know I made her happy because you know, she she always got the the heat. Like oh, you know, you're a single mother. You know, your son, da da da, like you live by yourself, how you doing this, da da da. It, it, that's, that's why I was so happy. I was just like, wow, like I was able to help my mom. And just, I just burst it out crying. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm a mom's boy. I, I, I just like, I, I told her I was gonna do it, and like it just happened. And I just felt accomplished. Well, because I've never been this happy. It was always outside noise. I mean, there was people like from here, like, it just didn't believe me, or like, who I'd play with and then on the other on the side I'd be like, well Will's not gonna do it. Will's not gonna do it. He can't do it, you know. I was told, you know, I was told straight up like as a team manager I will not be a like I'm not gonna be a walk on. Like they're not they're not gonna put you on the team. I was told that like and I kept climbing and like they put me at the kitty table. Now it's like I'm at the big table and I just I want something to eat now. So but like I truly believe anything is possible like but like it's like it just it doesn't just magically happen, like. I mean, we're all here for a reason. Sometimes you just gotta find it. Or you need somebody to help you find it. Funny thing is, you know, where there's a will, there's a way, so. Exactly. I figured it out. When it gets hard, I don't panic, I don't sound the alarm. Because I don't need to lie no more. Nowadays, all I do is shine, take a breath and ease my mind. She don't cry no more. Tell me that.